It's Freestyle Friday! Coming in hot with quick shots of inspiration on a variety of topics. What up, what up? It's Freestyle Friday, y'all. What a great day to be alive. Oh my gosh, we should be just grateful. We're here, we're living, we're thriving, we're breathing, and I'm excited to be here with you guys today. I'm, I was inspired this morning by one of my digital mentors, Eric Thomas, E.T., shout out you, E.T. He said, your dream is in your DNA. And at first I heard that and I was like, hmm, what does he mean by that? And I started to think about it and I heard him talk a little bit about it, kind of formulate my own thoughts around it. But, you know, one thing he said that really resonated with me, not only that, but think about it, us humans, right? Let's ask ourselves a question. Any, If you're listening right now, ask yourself this, were we created... Human beings, were we created equal to, you know, all animals here on earth? When we think about that, I mean, I love animals. Animals are dope. They're amazing. But we are the only species that can, like, truly think, right? Critically think. The only ones with emotions. The only ones that really seem to have control of our fate or destiny in a sense. And there's a reason, you know, there's a reason that humans are far advanced beyond all other animals on earth. Like, it's our brains, it's whatever all the science is behind it. So beyond that, it begs a question. Since we were created not equal or special or whatever, is there a reason behind that? Is there a purpose? Is there whatever the higher power is that, that created humans? Beyond that, what's the reason we're here? Collectively, but also individually, what's the reason you're here? Do you believe you are here to be born to grow up, to have a childhood, to go to school or go to work or both and work and start a family and get the cars and the money and the job and, you know, go on vacation sometimes and just do that for your life? Is that why we're here? Are we here to just to to go through that? Or is there a reason where we specifically made to do something bigger, something greater? So coming back to your dream is in your DNA. Our dream, each and every one of us, our dream, our purpose, whatever you want to call it, is in our DNA. It's embedded somewhere in there. Now, some of us might know it early on, might know you want to be a firefighter or an artist or whatever it is, like early on, and we just go with it and run with it from from an early age, from childhood. Others, it might take some time to uncover And I think what society does is it kind of suppresses that dream. It keeps it in there because we have all these responsibilities and we got to go get the car and the house and the job and the money and the things and the things and the things. And in the pursuit of that, it suppresses that dream. It suppresses that, that purpose, but it's still in there. It's in there somewhere and it's up to us to uncover it. How do we do that? It's going inside of ourselves. That's spending time alone in our thoughts or spending time thinking about it or having intention behind it. How often do you, listening, and I'm asking myself this too, spend alone in our thoughts just thinking, going inside? Oftentimes we wake up, we react to the world around us, whether it's kids, job, emails, phone, social media, whatever. Like We are just reacting and responding to everyone else. That doesn't give us a lot of time to sit and reflect and think and go deep inside of ourselves. How do we do that? There's a lot of ways. There's, you know, there's just sitting in silence. There's meditation. There's prayer. There's breath work. Shout out Wim Hof. He's got amazing breath work. There's journaling. There's just writing down whatever comes to your thoughts. But, you know, someone sent this to me the other day and it hit me. Because I realized it was like, it was like an Instagram meme or something. It was like, no, I didn't, I didn't come to the beach to hear the waves and the wind and the birds. I came to hear your fucking Spotify, sorry for swearing. Ah, no, I'm not sorry. Your fucking Spotify playlist that you always listen to over and over again because you can't stand to be alone in your thoughts for one second. And I was like, oh shoot, that's me. I love music, music is a vibe for me. It brings up a lot of positive emotions in me. But every time I get in the car, before I even go anywhere, I'm like, all right, let's get the music set up. Let's get this and that. And I'm like, am I 
just filling that space with something that sounds good versus spending some time to think. So now I've been driving in silence. I'm like, whoa, I'm literally in my thoughts and a lot of ideas and things come up. That's why like when we're in the shower, right? That's where our best ideas happen. Guess why? You're disconnected from the outside world. You, you know, no one can get to you really in the shower. I'm sure your kids could run in and, and grab you, but that is why we're alone in our thoughts. That's why when we get into bed, our mind is racing. We're alone in our thoughts. So carving out that time, I think that time is where we start to go deep inside of us, go vertical and discover why am I here? Coming back to my dream is embedded in my DNA. There's a higher purpose for me. There's, it's, it's not, this life isn't random. It's not just, I, you know, go through the motions through life and pass away, you know, hopefully in my old age, like, and hopefully have a fun time doing it. It's not, it's not about that. It's, I'm here to make a difference in somehow, some way, and it is my responsibility to find out what exactly that is. And some clues What do you love doing? What do you enjoy doing? What lights you up? What would you do for free? Like, what would you honestly do for free? That is a huge signal into what your purpose is. I remember when Sandy started her business, and it's all about helping people in health, in business, in mindset. It's basically a personal development, you know, best personal development program in the world, what Sandy and I do, because who you become along the way is everything. But she started and she was so passionate and on fire. She's like, I would do this for free. And I just thought to myself, that's how I know she will succeed. Because when you take away the option of quitting and you would truly do what you do for free, you will do it with such passion, energy, enthusiasm. You will be radiant. You will be magnetic and you will be successful. And so coming back to maybe let's spend some time and understand that our dream is in our DNA. It's up to us. No one's going to tell us what it is. You're not going to go to some guru and they're going to uncover your passion or your purpose. It's up to you. The answer's inside of us. It always is. But it's up to us to go, go on the journey, go on the discovery and go find it. So with that said, have an epic rest of your Friday. And I want you to know your dream is in your DNA. And once you unleash that, once you empower that, the world's going to be an even better place. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So remember, you are magnetic.